Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, the topic of the message is talking about the reality of uh, the the accepting and rejecting factor. You know, the accepting and rejecting factor that we definitely need to understand that this idea is what we must ha understand if we want the proper results that we are looking for in life. That that people know about this, but do they understand this? You know, it's the problem that I'm seeing a lot of people these days. Now, you know, I did a message a long time ago about the reality of a washer. And I, you know, I, I, I use, you know, uh, the idea, okay, I put some clothes in here. Okay, uh, I'm going to put a detergent in there. But what if I put dirt in here? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what outcome, and I put detergent and dirt inside of it. What outcome is going to come out of the situation concerning uh, the, uh, the uh, is it going to be clean clothes? Or is it going to, is the clothes going to be cleaner or is the clothes going to be more dirty? You know what I'm saying? That, you know, y'all like, uh, uh, it, you know, well, here's the thing. I want to, uh, like, here's the thing. What if we can accept detergent or we can accept dirt, you know what I'm saying, in our lives concerning, well, pretty much how we are influenced. We can accept things that's going to make us to become a better person in life or we can accept things that's going to make us a bitter person in life, pretty much, you know, uh, operating. We can accept salvation. We can accept sin. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, people got this idea that accept both of them, you know? You know, they accept sin and, and accept salvation and, or accept uh, love or, and accept lust and, and accept all the, the good and, and accept the bad. And, and guess what? Here's the outcome that these people think. They think somehow, some way, a good outcome is going to come out of this, you know, because even if they're accepting the good and accepting the bad, they think a good outcome is going to come out of this situation, and it doesn't matter. You just accept both of them. Uh, uh, as you see, and what I love about this idea uh, is our conscience, you know what I'm saying? Our conscience that God created us with is pretty much screaming out, Wrong, 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 wrong. You know what I'm saying? Our conscience is probably is the thing that's very thing that people that believe this idea that you can accept good and bad. You know what I'm saying? Is aggravating the individual's mind. And the, the individual, of course, is probably going to use a substance like smoking or drinking or whatever to pretty much, you know, numb their minds off of their conscience, screaming out that no, uh, wrong outcome, wrong outcome, wrong outcome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, I don't want to believe that I'm going to get a wrong outcome if I put good stuff in here and bad stuff in here. I don't want to believe a wrong outcome is going to come out of it. Well, the thing is, that's what this idea of this message is all about. That we need to accept the reality in life as what Jesus said concerning, uh, you know, either you serve God or you serve mammon. Either love one or hate the other. You know what I'm saying? He clearly uh, explained the reality of how if something is going to get better or you're going to go closer to God or closer to his world. Now, here's what I want to talk about that idea. Notice that Jesus said you either serve God or mammon. But why didn't Jesus say you either serve God or you serve Satan? You know what I'm saying? Why did he say Satan? Well, here's the thing about God being, I mean, well, Jesus Christ being God in the flesh. See, he knows understands the ideal, what's going to be our ideal desires concerning our heart. Well, he already knew the ideal desires that 
if every human being come on the face of this earth when they are put to a choice to choose either or he knows that ideal desire name i mean you know the thing is and mammon of course is about money and wealth and the thing is he knows that money and wealth is going to become the ideal desire that men will find themselves seeking after more than god you know what i'm saying and the thing is people need to understand the thing that you know it that I try to tell people that about money and especially the United States currency that it has esoteric symbols on there that is all about talking about enslaving people in a system to make them, you know, uh, slaves, of course, uh, well, financial slaves and all kind of other slaves. But the thing is, you know what I'm saying? The thing is, but here's the thing. We need either we love, reject one. We have to either reject one and accept the other pretty much. And that's the ideal factor of life. That if somebody is mature enough, pretty much, because the immature going to think, oh, I can take both. I can have both at the same time. An immature person thinks they can have both. And that's what God taught me. And the thing is, people get both. And, and they, when a bad outcome happens out of them getting both, they be like, oh, well, it's not It's not that I accept all this negativity and influence inside me that triggered this. I do this right thing. I do that right thing. You know, they try to explain it like they're supposed to have both. And there's nothing wrong with having both inside of us. But I just, you know, probably if I, you know, to ask you, can I put this detergent and dirt, you know, inside your washer at the same time? And can I do that concerning your clothes? You will look at me crazy and say, hey, no, you're not going to put no dirt in my detergent to wash my clothes because you won't. You know the result. You know the result that these clothes will not be clean the way they're supposed to be. And the thing is, the conscience screams out that it's going to turn out as a bad result. But unfortunately, if it's not going to mature to understand the reject, I have to reject this and accept this factor. It's not going to go anywhere in life. It's not going to produce the outcome that it needs to produce to produce the proper outcome. All right, that's the message. I hope you got it. To God be the glory. Him forever in Jesus' name. Amen.